Today we're going to be creating a Lucy Tiffany inspired painting. You're going to get a colored paper, write your name and class code in pencil. Make sure you have a messy mat. And you will have a handout sheet at your table. It is front and back to give you some ideas of what you can paint into your picture. The goal today is to fill your page and try mixing all different colors. Yes, you can use some of the colors straight out of the tray, but I wanna see you trying to mix your own colors as well. I'm gonna start by taking some of the pink. You're gonna put it on the plate in between you and your shoulder partner. I just did a little scoop. Usually I tell you not to scoop, but today it's okay. I'm gonna clean my brush in the water. Remember to clean your brush. You wipe it in the water, wipe it on the lip so it doesn't drip, and then just touch the sponge to get that extra water off. I'm gonna be making a tint by adding some white. White will make my color lighter. I will mix it on my plate in a small section, and then I will be able to begin painting my design. For my first one, I'm doing a flower design, and I'm not just gonna do it once, I'm gonna do it a few times, because with Lucy Tiffany, since she was creating lots of wallpapers and murals, she would repeat some of the same plants over and over again. So since I already have my paint ready to go, I'm just going to paint a few at a time before I go and clean my brush and make a new color. I get off as much as I can. I go back, I clean my brush, wipe it on the lip so it doesn't drip, and then touch that sponge. Now I'm ready to make the um, stem for this flower plant. And I'm just gonna use the regular green. So you can mix colors, you can use straight from the container. And I wanna see a combination of both mixing and just um, using it straight from there. You can also mix colors with another color, such as this green, and I'm gonna clean my brush, and grab um, some yellow to make an intermediate color. Now, I didn't add enough yellow. I should have done it the other way by adding the darker color to the lighter color because you'll always need more of the lighter, especially to get a drastic change. I'm trying to make more of a lime green color. And I'm just gonna take my brush and press it down to give it these little um, leaves along the sides. I'm going to continue using my handout sheet and mixing colors to fill my page with lots of different types of plant life. You can even layer colors on top of others to add patterns and designs. You may want to wait until the first layer has dried before you do that. A great way to fill space is to create vines. For this vine, I did green and I added just a tiny bit of black. Whenever you use black, just use a teeny tiny bit. For a vine, you make the line for the middle. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And then I charge up my brush and I just press it down to create each leaf. That's a simple way to create leaves on a vine. As you begin to keep filling your spaces, try mixing different colors. Colors plus white equal a tint. Colors plus black equal a shade. And you can mix two colors with each other as well. That's an intermediate color. Here we have our Lucy Tiffany inspired painting.